What a fantastic lineup of books we've seen there. A huge congratulations to all of the winners, all of the highly commended authors. And I just want to say, whether you were a finalist, not a finalist, a winner, highly commended or not a winner, you are a winner tonight because you've published your book. And I'm hearing time and time again from people speaking this evening, just saying the biggest challenge wasn't writing the book, it was actually going out there and getting it published. So a huge congratulations to you all. Now, before we find out who the Business Book of the Year winner is, I'd like to head over to our head judge, Alison Jones. Good evening, everybody. It's Alison Jones here coming to you from Northwich. It has been an extraordinary year. I know everybody said that. And I very much hope that next year we can all be together for the judging day, for the judging process, and for, of course, the awards event itself. But I'm incredibly grateful to the team, uh, the organizing team and the team of judges, that we can celebrate the extraordinary range, diversity, and quality of the business books published in the last year in this way this evening. Once again this year, I have been disqualified from fulfilling my full duties as a head judge because a Practical Inspiration title was a category winner, which is wonderful news, of course. Um, but I'd very much like to thank Jack Burns for stepping up and doing the extraordinarily privileged but extraordinarily difficult job of choosing between such extremely good category winners. So thank you very much, Jack. Um, before I announce the winner of the Business Book of the Year Award, uh, just a very quick personal note from me. Um, I will be stepping down as head judge of the Business Book Awards um, with immediate effect, with mixed feelings after this evening. It has been a real joy and a privilege working with the team over the last four award ceremonies, five years, um, and I'm, I'm delighted to have been there from the very beginning. But um, I think the Business Book Awards have become a real landmark in the publishing and the awards calendar incredibly quickly. And I'm very, very proud of what we have all achieved. But I very much hope that Practical Inspiration will be continuing to produce books that win in category in the future, but no intention of stopping that. So I think it's only fair to stop putting people in a difficult position and uh, to pass this wonderful job onto someone else for next year. I hope I will continue to be a judge. So. Personally, a huge thank you from me to Lucy for inviting me those years ago, uh, to Kasim and Brad and the whole ThinkFest team for just making it such an extraordinary privilege, but also a real pleasure and, uh, and joy. Now, let's take a look back at all of, the all of the books that I've won today. Business Book of the Year 2021 finalists are The Unfair Advantage by Ash Ali and Hassan Kuba. Published by Profile Books. Instagram Rules by Jody Cook. Published by White Lamb Publishing. Solving the Productivity Puzzle by Tim Ringo. Published by Kogan Page. The Purpose Myth by Charlotte Kramer. I Don't Agree by Michael Brown. Published by Harriman House. Soft Skills, Hard Results by Ann Taylor. Published by Practical Inspiration Publishing. The Success Trap by Amina Aitzi Published by Kogan Page. Bear Markets and Beyond by Daruti Shah and Dominic Bailey, published by Portico. Crisis Proof by Jonathan Hemus, published by Rethink Press. Them and Us by Felipe Legrain, published by One Word. 100 Million Hair Ties and a Volker and Tonic by Sophie Trellis Tevida, published by LID Publishing. Transformation in Times of Crisis by Nitin Mukesh and Jerry Wind, published by Notion Press. Congratulations to all the category winners this year. It's astonishing how the quality of the books just keeps getting higher and higher. So if you're watching tonight with your heart in your mouth, you have already exceeded beyond expectations. It is just fantastic. You are in rarefied air. Um, and I'm actually quite grateful that I didn't have to choose the winner from that extraordinary collection. But now it is time to reveal this year's Business Book of the Year. Oh, I've got a text message. Sorry to cut you out, Alison. Balaclava man has arrived at his final destination and he's outside the winner's address right now, waiting to hand them their award. So, let's find out who the winner is. 
It's always hard, of course, but this year, Jack found it particularly difficult to choose between two amazing, innovative books, which really speak to the hearts and minds of readers, uh, providing real value for anyone in business. There can only be one winner, but we would particularly like to recognize Amina Aitsi Selmi, author of The Success Trap, a book which we think is essential reading, not just for business owners, but for everyone. The winner of this year's Business Book of the Year Award, though, is a book that seeks to promote our inner strengths, helps us to build clarity around our own capabilities, and provides a context for entrepreneurs to build clarity. It's a book about reflection, self-awareness, and mindset. It helps the reader reframe their experience and take more confident steps on their journey. It blends two different voices, different ages, different backgrounds, making the reader feel as if they're being guided by experts who speak powerfully as one. It provokes the reader to reframe perceived disadvantages into advantages. They have succeeded brilliantly. Its strength is its simplicity and its originality. A huge congratulations to Ash Ali and Hassan Kuba, authors of The Unfair Advantage, Business Book of the Year 2021. such a surprise wow wow i was not expecting that <laughs> no we were not expecting that at all a huge wow. congratulations so guys so amazing amazing we show off the ballet club a man here <laughs> don't take us. your mask off <laughs> wow. wow oh my yes. god oh I my god thank it. you so much oh we are so honored and humbled honestly do this you know how hard it thing. has been for me to keep oh, my mouth wow. shut for the past couple of days oh, wow. Oh, Kasim, it's unbelievable. Four and a half years of thinking about writing this book, and everyone kept saying to us, write a book, Ash and Hassan, write a book. And the first thing that flashed in my head was, I failed my GCC English. I can't write a book. <laughs> and here we are today winning an award. I want to thank everyone who supported us, the judges, fellow authors. Um, we know how difficult it is to write a book and get clarity, but also how to just get it published and out there and get our voice heard. And there's so many people now with COVID thinking about starting a company. And now is the right time for everyone to think about what their personal competitive advantages are and to double down on them. And I wish I had this book for myself because I always felt like the underdog in life. And this was written for all the underdogs and people who have come from a different disadvantaged and underprivileged background to realize that we've all got talents and unique strengths and everyone's unique and special. And we've all got what it takes to succeed. Hassan, thank you so much. You want, thank you, want thank to you Ash. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. No, honestly, this is for all the underprivileged, everyone who didn't believe in themselves. And so we're so happy. We're so pleased. We're so humbled. Thank you to everyone. It's been a team effort. Um, we've been working on it so far so, for so long. And um, we're so pleased it's gone out there and the message is getting out there. Thank you so much, Kasim. Thank you so much to the judges. Thank you so much, everybody. And congrats to the other authors as well. Thank you. Brilliant. Well done, guys. All I can say is a huge congratulations. Thank you for making my life very difficult this evening by changing your location <laughs> at the last minute. But if anyone could do it, the OCG could do it. And Amazing. Balaclava Man okay. was successful on his well mission. Well done. Uh, well done. It's good Thank that so Hastings much. and DS Arnott didn't catch him in the act on his way. Um, but no, huge congratulations, guys. Well done. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. Thank, Thank you. you. So, ladies and gentlemen, authors, entrepreneurs, Business book fans, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. It's been amazing to see so many people watching this event. I myself am overwhelmed by just how successful this evening has gone. Thank you to everyone who supported me. Thank you to the team here, Eisted Business Media, um, Neil, everyone in the studio, thank you so much. Saf, who's recording me, Brad behind the studio, Kuram, our visuals director, this has been one of the most difficult 16 months for someone who runs an events company. And I wanna say thank you to everyone for your books because I've been reading, I've been learning, I've been upskilling, and it's because of you that I'm standing here today and able to host this fantastic event. 
You know, I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd host an event where, you know, someone who's invented something like Pictionary or, you know, Sophie with the hair ties. You know, these are phenomenal in individuals and I'm just so proud of you all. Thank you so much and good night.